Hey guys, welcome to this video. I've had a video request from a member on YouTube asking me can I make a video on a program called Reg Run. Now you can get this program from here for free uh, Reg Run Reanimator 6.9.7.60 uh, I'm hoping this is the one it's on about. It's a freeware version but there is paid versions on here so if it's the paid version that you want just give us a shout and uh, I'll give that a go as well. So we're going to use a free version here first. You can get it from uh, greatis.com Okay, so we've got some uh, infections on here. We've got a Windows 7 operating system. We've got system tool running and a few other malwares on here to stop us uh, running the program. This program here, system tool, will stop us from actually running any programs. So what we're going to do is use a program called iExplore and this will kill and terminate the process so we can actually run any applications. So what we're going to do is uh, use iExplore first. Okay. Let me just stop this. So let's have a little run of I explore, and this will bring up a black prompt box. It will try and stop it from executing, but we just need to keep doing it until we get it running. Sometimes it takes a few goes to get it working. This uh, I explore is basically our kill. Basically, you can get it from uh, bleepingcomputer.com. Okay, so it's come up there as you can see. So it does take a little bit of time. Once we get this up, just let it do its thing. It's going to prepare to kill that process, so we can then run uh, our application that we want to run. If you don't do this first, you will not be able to run any applications, and you'll be scuppered from the start. So just let this happen. Now you can do this manually if you know where to look. I just want to show you this way to do it as well. I think I've showed you in my last video how to do it manually. Okay. So it's killed there. Let's have a little look. Something happened there. Maybe it runs twice. Okay, it's starting to do something now. Okay, I'm hoping that's happened. We'll soon find out. I'll try to run the program. Okay, it's trying to connect. So this is the actual program called Red Run. We're going to run this now. As you can see, it wants us to go to this website. I don't know what it wants to do here. Okay, let's just close that off. Close that off. So the first thing we want to do, we've got virus scan, send report, clean after a virus, protect, open RNR file, uninstall, and restore and contact. So we're going to be using this one for now. So what I want to do first, We've checked for updates already. Okay. So first thing I want to do is go scan. It's done that thing again. Go scan. And we want to click on this start Windows at startup. Yeah, first to remove anything. So what we're going to do first is reboot. Say yes, and this will reboot the system and start to do a scan straight after the reboot, which is much better. So I'll let this uh, reboot. Okay, we'll just let this boot up now. As you can see, it's starting to uh, boot watch. It's probably running slow here because it's infected quite badly. So we'll just let it 
do its thing. Okay, so here we go, it's not responding, it's saying, okay, it's working now. Starting to scan for viruses. Now we'll give it an honest test, hopefully it will delete a lot of stuff and find stuff. If it doesn't, then you can make your own minds up about the software itself. Now I'm not expecting it to clean all the program, all the viruses off. I just expect it to uh, do a good job to get it to stable, so we can actually run some other software. Because no one software does everything. Okay, this looks dodgy. So I'm just going to say, uh, get it out. Okay, that's another one. Get it out. We're going to delete that. Also, this one as well. So you just actually you can push push recover. There's a bot there. We know that's going to be dodgy. So I'm going to delete that. It wants us to restart the computer in a sec. So let this reboot now. So we'll just let this load up. As you can see there it was just safely deleting those files. Now you've got to be careful when you're deleting files because if it's a, attached to a certain type of file and we delete it then the system may not boot. So just be very careful of what files you're actually deleting. And hopefully once this is booted up we'll give it another scan. Okay, so we've got to the desktop now. Hopefully those files will not start up. Okay, we're not getting that um, fake antivirus no more, which is quite impressive. Again, I'm going to start it up again. We'll have another little blast of it. Okay, so let that connect. Just wants to keep going to this page here. Okay, so we'll we'll give it a uh, one of these scans now. So far I'm quite impressed with it. We'll give it a little a few more tests, see what comes up. And then we'll probably run malware bytes to see what's been left behind. But the main thing is we can use this as part as a another tool to to remove other malware because as you see the system had that uh, system tool on it which it just means it, it can actually remove those types of viruses and malware as well. Okay, also you've got this uh, check list here. Now if I click on this, this will probably take me to a virus total and uh, check these files out, okay? So I'm not going to bother doing that, but if I did click on this, it will take me to virus total and upload that file to check it, okay? So you need to come through here and check all your system files. Okay. So there we have. Uh, okay, it needs the uh, CD Reg Warrior, uh, Reg Run Warrior CD, which is something I'll do in another video. Okay.
okay just want to try this last bit I think I've already done this but I'll give it one more go we can start malware bytes off as well just to see how much has been left behind Now, as I said, I'm not expecting this to replace uh, Malwarebytes because Malwarebytes is very good. We'll do a quick scan on Malwarebytes. I've done an update on it. Let's just check an update first. And then we'll do a quick scan and see what's found or what's been left. You've got an ask for support here. You can actually talk to a support guy, which is pretty good. Um, I've got clean after a virus attack there as well. I'm going to leave this for now and come out of here. Okay, so this is the last part we've got with Ridge Run. Uh, reanimator as you can see here you've got some features here that you can use okay optimize startup and so on there's loads of little types of tools that you've got here that you can actually use okay we probably need to do another video just on this section here anti spyware task manager so on so if you click on task manager and basically looking for telltale signs so if I click on this you can actually see what's going on here now if I kill this current process you'll see this pop up and we can actually kill that process if we wanted to okay so it's got that nice little feature there as well and also if you fix problems it will actually give you the option to say whether you want to I'm not sure about this file or yeah get it out of there and it will actually remove it as well okay so let's just remove that so as you can see here, VXD drivers and so on, startup group. Okay. So I'm gonna come out of this now and just give this a quick scan. Just to see what's been left behind. Now we'll go through that reg run at another time and put some more infections on and see how it fares over the next few weeks. I used it a long time ago but I stopped using it I can't remember why but um, we'll see if this has found anything I'll pause at this stage okay so the scan is now finished off as you can see we found uh, 28 infections and bearing in mind this was only a quick scan so if we do a more deeper scan we'll find out what's left behind and as you can see there's a fair bit of file types left behind Trojan downloaders stuff like that Trojan agent okay so there's a Trojan patch here that's been left behind by that piece of software uh, the actual malware remover bot again as, as you can see there there's a fair few nasty ones left behind and uh, I wouldn't like to make a judgment just yet but again um, these are, these would be concerned that they've left these behind but we'll do another scan full scan and see what else is left but then this is going to be hard to top I think Malwarebytes is a very good piece of software but we'll give it another crack and see how it fares so Anyway, I think that'll be enough for this video. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember hit the subscribe button and share your support. And uh, I shall see you again soon. Bye for now.